Um, this is the first of the pregnancy maternity style videos that I'm going to be filming um, and it's actually a um, maternity jeans try on kind of haul. I picked up um, a bunch of styles from ASOS and I thought I would just give them a try. Um, currently I'm actually only almost 11 weeks pregnant so um, I haven't told anyone yet and I haven't actually filmed any other sort of videos but um, it does seem a little bit early to be trying maternity dress jeans on but I'm actually struggling to get my normal jeans like the button done up and I know that you can do like that trick with like a elastic band or something where you like loop it through the hole and over the button but um, I kind of just wanted to like try on a couple of maternity jeans just to see if they were a little bit more comfortable because um, my other than like my one pair of boyfriend jeans, all the others are really quite tight. I actually ordered three styles in two different sizes um, and I, yeah, I'll, I'll insert clips obviously showing you my thoughts and like with them actually on so you can see what they look like. This first set was the ASOS Ridley jeans, um, maternity obviously, um, and these were petite, so perfect for me, he's quite short, I'm five foot two. Um, and they're called the high waist skinny jeans and they've got like the under the bump style. So they're quite a nice wash, I really quite like the wash of them, nice sort of just blue denim, typical kind of denim colour. Um, and then the band is pretty stretchy. These are the eight, the eight does fit me, you'll see in the clip, but the ten um, I'm probably going to end up keeping these ones because they're just more comfortable. Um, and you know more room to actually stretch because I think the 8 is a little bit like it fits perfectly now and they fit better now but if I put on any weight they probably won't work and obviously I'm going to be putting on some weight <laughs> um, so yeah I'll insert to the clip of trying on these ones now so these are the ASOS maternity Ridley jeans in the high-waisted style with the like under bump band. They're not actually very high-waisted So I don't know what they're talking about there. Um, these are petite so lengthwise I'm five foot two or like 158 centimeters. So they're pretty perfect lengthwise These are the size 10 and I think they actually fit really well The eights do fit and I'll show you those in a moment But I can tell that like this seam along here is gonna get really really tight um, Even with like this one. I don't know if I'll have to go up a size at some point, but it is pretty stretchy um, I really like the color of them they feel really comfy I can tell it's gonna be a bit of an issue sliding down I can already feel that but obviously I don't really want to go the smaller size even though they do fit because I probably will want a little bit more weight um, so I'm not sure I haven't tried any of the others on yet but so far I do like them you can obviously I don't know I guess with maternity jeans you just can't do the front tuck sadly even if you just like tuck it and then like blouse it over it's not really gonna work <laughs> but yeah those are these ones I think I think they look pretty nice they're quite flattering um, don't know how they go sort of sagging wise but so far I like them and just to give you a bit of comparison these are the size eights in the same Ridley jeans um, petite they they actually fit really well I think they look better and I can tell that they would like I, I feel like they will stretch out a lot but the part that I'm worried about is just this seam right here which it does stretch but obviously <laughs> I'm gonna need it to stretch quite a lot more I would assume but if you're between an 8 and a 10 like I'm sort of between the two <laughs> I can never tell if I'm an 8 or a 10 it just depends on the brand um, but maybe size up for these ones. The second pair are the ASOS Design Maternity Lisbon Mid-Rise Skinny Jeans. Uh, I will insert the wash as well here because I can't remember it doesn't say on the sheet. Um, and these are the over the bump style which um, obviously at the moment I don't have that much of a bump at all. It's probably just bloating. <laughs> but um, they are a bit like they feel weird at the moment. It's also really quite a warm day today so probably not the best day to be trying on jeans um, and definitely not something you'd be wanting to wear when it's warmer. Winter I'm sure it's fine. It probably is more comfortable like when you're bigger like having it go over rather than like sort of squishing under your bump. But um, the problem with these ones is that they actually only had a size 8 <laughs> in stock so I had to just get the 8 and they are way too tight. 
The Ridley ones fit the eight. It's easy to get on. They're actually really comfortable, even though I will get the 10. But these ones are like, they fit, but I struggle to get them on, which you'll see in the clip. Um, they, like, I don't know what it is, but like, they made the ankle hole so small that I can't get my foot through it. And I don't think I have particularly large feet, but you know, I guess it's just too small for me. <laughs> but they're definitely not as stretchy as the Ridley ones. But um, I do like the wash of them. I think they're really nice. Um, and I figured that with the ASOS ones, I'd try like some of their main styles. And that way, like once I know my size, I can just order them later in like different washes if I want a couple, you know, a bit of variety. I'm not intending to buy heaps of clothes. Um, obviously I'm really into capsule wardrobes and keeping things quite minimal and simple. But I do want a little bit of variety and I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl. I like wearing jeans. I know I'm probably going to live in that as well as uh, leggings. I actually just got a new pair of the um, Lululemon line pant, which they are just the best leggings in the world. Like I hate leggings. I find them really uncomfortable. I much prefer jeans, but those leggings, they like literally feel like you're wearing nothing, which is apparently what they're designed to be. Um, so little tangent there. I will insert the clip of these ones. This next pair is the ASOS Lisbon Mid-Rise Jean. Um, these are not petite, so you can see that they're actually a bit too long for me. Um, and it's got the over the bump band thing, which feels really weird at the moment. If I don't suck my tummy in, I actually do have a bit of a tummy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I will not be getting these ones because this is the, this is a size eight. They didn't have a 10. So I thought I'll just order it and try it. Um, and although they fit on now, they were so difficult to put on at the moment. I don't know how I feel about this part. <laughs> Obviously, I guess as you get bigger, it's probably more comfortable, I guess, but also Obviously, it's a bit tricky. Like, I enjoy wearing, like, quite light-coloured tops. And you can see through it, which is not ideal. I guess, like, as we go into, like, the cooler months, I'll probably wear, like, something under it so it doesn't, and it covers over so it won't matter. But I, I do like that you can see the button. I'm going to have to send these ones back because they just don't fit. Also, so just so you know, the Ridley ones are way, way more stretchy. Like, I got into the size 8, no problem. These ones... <laughs> We're a struggle. I was like, yeah, these are going back. <laughs> Lastly, uh, these ones here. And these ones, let me just read it because it's a mouthful. The Bandia Maternity Over the Bump Ankle Grazer Skinny Jean. <laughs> um, again, I got these in an 8 and a 10. The 10 is actually too big. The 8 fits me much better for these ones. I really like the wash of these ones. I think that they are a really nice colour. Um, they've got a little bit more texture to them compared to the, uh, the, um, what are these ones called, sorry, the Ridley ones, which are kind of like a more fine grain. I'll show you, there's, those are the bandier ones, I don't know if the light is washing it out, and then those are the Ridley ones, not a whole lot in it, but just for your information. The band is really quite big on this one, so currently it just looks weird. Um, but there is a lot more stretch in them and they've also got this little handy extender thing which you can just clip on here so when you get bigger you can still wear them. And then apparently after you're pregnant you can actually unstitch this band in here and then you can just wear it as normal jeans. I guess it's a good option to have. These are the size eight that I've got on. I ordered a 10 as well. I'm about to try those ones on afterwards. There's a lot of space here actually at the back um, and at the front as well, they've actually got a little expander thing inside, which I'll show you afterwards that you can actually, um, so you can still do it up, but it's not as tight. Um, so that is really good. I feel like they're probably the most versatile of all of them that I've tried so far. Um, this band goes up pretty high and it's pretty, like, it's not huge at the moment, but obviously it feels kind of weird to be wearing right now. Um, and yeah, lengthwise they're pretty good. Um, 
I'm short so I'm used to my jeans being way too long for me so it's quite easy just doing a little roll and they're the perfect length. Um, let me put my shirt back down. Um, yeah so this is what these ones look like. I, I actually really like them. I think they look really nice on the bum but I will try <laughs> like they're not they're not dropping down as much as the, as the Ridley ones are but I will try the size 10 on and we'll see what I think of the two. So these are the same ones in the size 10 and there is a lot more space in these um like a lot more space uh but I really don't like they're, they're already really saggy around the bum area um so I probably if I do get keep these ones I'll probably go with the eight and I guess if down the track I need to get a bigger pair of pants <laughs> then I'll I'll have to do that um because yeah they're just they're just too big and they're actually more uncomfortable weirdly even though they're looser they're just I think because they're just like sagging down and not not fitting particularly nicely in real life they do not look good if someone is watching this and going what the hell are you doing get the bigger size because you're gonna get a lot fatter I get it I, I, I maybe I'm gonna make maybe I'm crazy um, I'll have a think about it before I make my final decision <laughs> but I figured I, if I get a pair of pants that like feel really comfortable now um, and that I feel really good in now and that they last me for another few months and then like later on if I have to buy like one more pair of jeans <laughs> then I guess so be it um, I don't know I guess we'll see how we go I know I'm gonna be living in leggings a lot of the time as well anyways so all in all I think that the bandy ones will actually be better for a longer even though that this is the 10 but like in in the 8 um, they actually have the separate little bits um, that you can extend um, and they are really really stretchy so those are the three pairs of three styles of jeans that I've tried from ASOS I hope that was helpful for you because I know that I was really looking for some reviews of jeans um, if I do order any more or try any more on I will either make a new video or add it on to this one depending uh, when this goes up because obviously I'm not putting it up for quite a while but um, hope you really enjoyed it if you would like some more just style and simplicity tips as well as more like maternity fashion tips and all of that um, I'm excited to create more content so subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to come visit my blog as well which is laurennatalia.co um, I will have it all linked in the down bar and see you next time Bye.